Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for December. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but this isn't a private reading, so it may not resonate with you. It may or it may not, or bits and pieces may, whatever. Um... This is for the month of December. So this could resonate now when I'm doing it or at any time in December, okay? Even in January because we're all at different stages. So, uh, yeah, this is for Taurus. We're going to get one of these and we're going to get use this deck right here. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. I focus on love, so that's what this reading is hopefully going to be about. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about the month of December? What is going to happen in the month of December? Well, that came out pretty forcefully, don't you think? That card did. It came out like, look at it. I mean, wow. Lucky it didn't, you know, catch on fire. That's the danger of candles. Whatever. Angel of Strength. So you may be needing some strength during this month or you may be um, right in your own power, you know. You may be feeling very strong, whatever the case may be. It looks like you are being brought some strength from, from above. I think there's probably some big changes going on in your life. And that's why this strength card came up. All right. This is about courage as well. You may need to find some courage or you are. You are um, having courage, whatever the case may be. We're going to get a bunch more cards and see what comes up. Could be dealing with a Leo. Just saying. Maybe you're going to be somebody else's strength. You know, that card could go so many different ways. Um, now, when you think of the strength card, it's about um, perseverance. It's about, you may need to let go of something because if, you, if you, the typical meaning of the strength card is finding the force within you, the discipline, the willpower, the courage, the confidence to... Let something go that's not um, healthy in your life, you know, whatever that is. What does Taurus need to know for the month of December? You know, when I look at that lion over there, it almost looks like he sees something. You know, he looks like he's looking at something and, uh, you know, trying to decide, you know, he's checking something out. You know, he's really checking it out, whatever it is. Maybe you need to look deeper into a situation. Who knows what that is, but I just look at his face and he's just like, hmm... He's really checking something out. What does Taurus need to know? You may be wasting your time on something. You may feel like you're wasting your time. Sometimes with the Three of Wands reversed, you know, somebody may want you to give them another chance. And you may be like, if I do, I would just be wasting my time. Interesting. Oh, somebody's charging in. I mean, look at this. Somebody is, is like, huh, pedal to the metal, kicking it right into gear. And that's why that lion is like that. 
you know, when somebody comes at you this like this, you know, uh, forcefully, and it's funny, the card came out forcefully. It looks like this knight is being pretty forceful, don't you think? I mean, look at him. He is nothing but a moving. So, and you know, you may feel like, huh, I don't know about this. I'm not, and you may not be prepared. Oh, yeah, the three of wands. You may not be prepared. That's why this card is here. You may not be prepared for this arrival. Somebody could be huh, charging right into your life and you're not prepared for it. Maybe you think you're prepared, but maybe you're not. The Emperor. No, this isn't. This reminds me. This is the, this is the King of Wands, which I always think this card is the Emperor, which it is the Emperor, really. I mean, the King of Wands. This is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is probably who's coming in very quickly. Um, whoever this king is, he's very noble, he's a hard worker, he's confident, he is courageous, he, he embodies, uh, all the fire, you know, the air, the Aries, uh, Leo and Sagittarius, he's very, um, patient, generous, uh, And he takes the lead. So whoever this man is, he can take very good care of you. He's very knowledgeable. I mean, he's he's uh, a skilled king. He's got a lot of skills, put it that way. He's a leader. So whoever's coming in, he is probably uh, knows exactly what he's doing, okay? He's very wise. So we have a wise man here. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, oh, the emperor. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's why I said it, okay? This is the emperor. We have a man coming into your life that, is, like I said, very wise. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, it just reiterated what I just said. And then, whatever. You know how this goes. Um, they always do this. So we do have a very intelligent man that is... You know, coming in to take control of something. He's going to take the lead. He's taking control. He's very structured. And he's a family man. So this man that is coming into your life may be a little bit older than you. Whoever this man is, he is very distinguished. And he knows what he wants. And he, you know... <sighs> What uh, the the main word is wise. This man is very, um, very intelligent. He may be moving pretty fast. Maybe he knows he has to move fast. Somebody's coming in to take control of a situation, whatever the situation is. Oh, I told you he was a noble man. Uh, the Six of Wands. He is very noble. He's very confident. A lot of fire energy here. Uh, this man, um, he has a lot of courage and he's absolutely a leader. So you've got a man that's coming in that can take really, really good care of you. If you are the man watching this, it, that is watching this, uh, whether you're the cross watcher or the Taurus fan, it looks like you are, you're a very wise man. I mean, you've got your shit together. You are right where you need to be. I, I feel as though, you know, you're the boss in this situation. If you are the Taurus man, you're in control. You have the power, okay? If you're the Taurus man. If you're the Taurus woman, you have a man coming in, Quickly, really quickly. And he is coming to bring success. He wants to bring success to a situation and his confidence is high. So for the man in this dynamic, he, this man has high confidence and he's a noble man. So 
Now, this is recognized, okay? This is being recognized. So this man wants to be recognized. So if you're the Taurus man, yes, you're being recognized. Don't think you're not. If you are the Taurus woman, we have a man that is coming in because he recognizes you. That's a delay. Block it. Now this man is this is a blockage or a delay. And and here this we have this and he can't delay. That's why he's charging in. He can't delay at this time. There must be a reason why he can't delay. He needs to make this change right now. This is a conscious change, personal freedom, dropping something, dropping a burden, dropping um, some sort of responsibility to, to get there. It's like he needs to make a move right now. This is making a conscious change. So this, we have a man that is, <clears throat> now this is a completion Wanting to do, wanting, I mean, the next card would be the, the Ace of Wands. Because it starts over. He wants a new beginning. He's dropping some, dropping a grudge maybe, or he's dropping something that was overwhelming. I'm not going to carry this around with me anymore. I'm, I'm going to go, I have places to go, things to do. I can't bring this with me, whatever it is. Interesting. So we, hmm. Oh, the world card reversed. Feeling empty. Incomplete. Something is incomplete with this man. It's not over yet. And it's been blocked. It's been delayed. But now somebody is finding the confidence because they're feeling empty and lost and incomplete. After no communication, there's been no communication now somebody is finding the confidence to get on their horse and kick it into gear. But with this three of wands, you may not, you're not prepared for this, right? You're not prepared for this. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not. Oh God, the lovers reversed. Yeah, it's an incomplete contract of some sort. This contract, you might have thought it was over. Or they might, somebody thought this contract was over. Oh God. It, or, you know, this man could be uh, deciding to give up some sort of contract. You know what I mean? Love affair? The lover is reversed? That's over? Maybe that delayed it and now this, this love affair is over? I mean, look at this card. They didn't find the balance and the harmony in that. Partnership. And now they've made a decision with the seven of cups reversed. Somebody has made a decision. To head in a new direction. Towards you. If you're the Taurus woman, if you're the Taurus man, it looks as though you, because we, I mean, we don't even have any women in this, these cards. We don't, except for right here in the lover's card reversed. If you are the Taurus man, it looks like you are, you have the, you have control. You are taking the lead. You're the boss. And it looks like you, the, whoever the man is, is, dis, is making a conscious change to end something and head in a new direction. Quickly. Swift. Fast. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, there's there's been some sort of false contract here with this lover's card. Reversed a false contract that is being that is being let go of. It's being dropped. It's saying goodbye. It's done. I think that now we have now because this false contract is ending or it's over. False contract completion. Completion. You know? 
So there is a false contract here that is ending. It's that has stalled somebody from going after their victory and success. They wasted some time. They did. Somebody wasted some time and now they're they're <laughs> kicking it into gear and, and headed. They're headed. They're finding the confidence and the courage to <laughs> Make a move, and it's a, it's a forceful move. It definitely is a forceful move. So be prepared to receive something. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I mean, that Knight of Swords comes in so fast that it, it's going to be like, oh, my God. Yes. Do Can we have one more chance with the Nine of Wands? Can we have, is there one chance left? You know? There's been no communication. They're coming in with communication that they would like another chance or they would like a chance. This even could be somebody new. Somebody may have just gotten out of a false contract. They needed to get out of that contract so that they could come to you with this offer. So whether this is somebody from your past or somebody brand new, somebody is asking for a chance after it had been delayed for quite some time because of a false, false contract. They've made the decision that this is what I want. I'm incomplete without this person. This is who I want. They may have been dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Queen of Swords. But, or they may fear because we have finding the confidence to deal with this bitter woman. If you are the woman in this dynamic, the Taurus woman or the cross watcher, there's bitterness Resent, hate, and anger in the way. And it needs to be let go. You can't go into this relationship resentful or hateful. And you're going to need to be optimistic. Try to think positive about the situation. Somebody wants to, you to give them a chance. And it can lead to victory and success. But, with the Six of Wands, that's, that's victory and success. But, you, in order for, and this is a card of strength as well, you're going to need to find the strength to let go of your pessimism, your resent, and hatefulness. And, and I have to say this, there's going to be people, people say below, I'm not hateful. Well, then the, then, 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 then the reading's not for you. I'm not saying that everybody is hateful. I'm trying to explain to you. Usually when we get rejected, it does bring about some hateful feelings. And we do have a woman here that is quite bitter. And she's good. And in order for in order for this to work, whatever it is, this chance, this opportunity that is being offered to start over, because he's holding the Ace of Wands in his hand, he is, to have this new beginning, you're going to have to let go of bitterness, period. And that takes strength and discipline and willpower. And you're going to have to look really deep into the situation, Eight of Cups. Somebody's coming back. They've walked away from something. Or they're coming to you for the first time. Whatever the case is. Yeah, you may feel like, I can't do this. You walked away from me. If it's somebody that you know. This woman is bitter because somebody left And now they want another chance. I'm not sure. That's what it looks like to me. This is also um, emotional discontent. I'm leaving it behind. So the woman may decide that she can't do this. Take your love and shove it up your ass. She may. Oh, see now somebody somebody wants wants love. <laughs> the 
four cups reverse. I, I'm not happy where I've been and I have this offer where you take it. I realized that I missed this. I may have, and that's why he's on his horse and he's charging in because he feels, or whoever this man is, realizes that there's a missed opportunity, a lost opportunity here. And there was probably a third party situation which may make, if, if this is for somebody that's in the past, may make you feel like you don't even want to look at it. I mean, that's, I don't, I'm not, no. So yeah, it looks to me like there's going to be somebody that comes in really, really fast and makes you an offer, whether it's somebody new or somebody from the past, in which you will have to, uh, you know, let go of the bitterness, let go of the resent. You're going to let this person in? Yeah, there's been some rejection, and that's why she's bitter, because there's been some sort of rejection. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. One chance. No, I got two. The Queen of Wands reversed. And the Four of Pentacles. Now we have this person that held on to a grudge. It's funny, didn't I mention that earlier? If I didn't, I was thinking it. I don't know. I let, them, I let my words just go. Anyway, somebody was holding on to something. Their stance, what they knew. holding on to something that doesn't even fit them. Look at that chair doesn't even fit this guy. Holding on to the, and if you think of green, green is money. Holding on to something that or staying in a situation that they thought, thought was financially stable or something like that. Now this is kind of Now this is that miser card, somebody that is very greedy, stingy, selfish. Somebody was being very selfish. This is going right here, but they're letting that go. They are letting that go. We have a we have a man here that is Trying to hold on to something for dear life because it's slipping away. He knows it's slipping away. Interesting. The Queen of uh, Wands reversed. We have a woman who has lost her self-esteem, lost her self-confidence, lost her self-worth. She lacks ambition and drive. Has lost her vision. Given up. She's given up. So we have a woman here that has given up. Absolutely. And he knows it. This man knows that he was selfish and greedy, whoever it was. I mean, I don't know if this is somebody from the past or somebody that's new, but could be either one. We have a man that knows that there's a, that the, the woman that he wants is no longer invested. That's what it looks like to me. He was hanging on to something that didn't fit him. A love affair, a false contract. And if he doesn't get on his horse, that's, you know, it could be too late already. It could be too late. It may be too late. Because, I mean, this woman may say, uh, take your love and shove it up your ass.
this man was very confused for quite some time with the Seven of Cups. Very confused. Definitely holding on to something that he could touch but wasn't love, okay? So we do have a man that was is holding on or was holding on to something that was uh it was tangible. You could touch it, but it's not love. And now he is finding the courage and the strength and the confidence to communicate quickly. So be prepared to receive something something some sort of message from somebody. <laughs> because you've given up <clears throat> sorry I have to clear my throat because you've given up if you are the woman and you have moved on you are no longer invested in this man or whoever it is if you're you know no longer interested at all He's coming. He's coming to the rescue. He's coming to make an offer. Now, I don't know if you'd call that to the rescue. Let's see what else we can get here. What are we at? 26. We'll get one more. Yeah. The two of wands. You're going to be faced with making a choice, Taurus. Do you... I mean, you have... There's plenty of fish in the sea, right? You've got the world in your hands. You have an opportunity in your hands. You have an opportunity for a new beginning. And you, this is a choice, a decision. Do you stay where you're at or do you step over the edge? You have, you're at that crossroads where you absolutely, this is it. Do you, do you go? Do you truly, this is the time, that you, this is your chance. Are you done? Are you ready to move? Are you ready to move? Are you ready to go? Is it over? You have two paths in regards to a partnership. Do you move in a completely new direction or do you give this person a chance? And you have a choice between two. So you may have a choice, Taurus man or woman, a choice between two. And you're going to need to find the strength to make the best decision for you. We're going to get an angel romance card or two. You have to decide to stay or go. That's what this month is about. Do you truly move in a new direction or do you give this person one more chance? Now, or a chance, whoever it is. This could be somebody new or it could be somebody from your past. Somebody is bring, com, coming to you with an offer of love. No doubt about it. It's up to you. The choice is yours. What does Taurus need to know? How was a jumper? Ooh. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Your love life benefits as you forgive. And there's lack of forgiveness here. Forgiveness is needed for this to be successful. And there is an opportunity for success. Absolutely. But the woman in this dynamic has to learn to forgive, and the man does too, okay? Forgiveness is needed, period. One more. Oh, oh, gee, some crow. That's my favorite word, gee, some crow. <laughs> It ain't my favorite word, but it's one of them. Give your relationship a chance. 
Work on your partnership now. You know what this card means. This person wants a chance. Maybe you should give it to him. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you were guided to take. Can you do it? Let go of your fear. The strength card is about letting go of fear. Let go of your fear. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Good luck, Taurus. You know what song just came to my mind? And I think we've had it before. Is 10,000 angels. 10,000 angels. Anyhow. I'll be doing the weeklies for December. So stay tuned for those. Talk to you next time.